Yo, yo, what's up? Tony here from Paradise Garage. And in this video, I want to teach you about mixing primer. So let's go here and I want to show you a couple of things as well. Um, by applying the correct primers and sealers to auto body parts and projects, you're going to be able to bang out really cool projects like this. Uh, we're not done here. We still have to lay the clear coat on this project, but we're going to get into mixing primers because some brands of primers that you get, they don't give you the mixing ratio and you're like, how, what, how do I mix it? Right? So we're going to cure that and solve that question for you in this video. So keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share it, comment down below and let me know what you think. Don't forget to hit up learnautobodyandpaint.com to learn more about auto body DIY stuff so you can open up your own body shop, make extra cash, whatever you want to do, check it out. It's Tony, I'll see you in the video. Then I was like, hey, this would be a good video for you guys just so you're aware of these things. So I've been painting for a very long time now, over 20 years. Uh, grew up in the trade, you know, and there's a lot to it. And also it can get very, very simple if you think simply. So this video is about mixing. Okay. Now I wanted to point this out because, you know, we get a lot of questions on the channel, people saying, Hey, how do you mix paint? Blah, blah, blah. So here's a perfect example of getting something where there's pretty much no paint mixing ratio directions on it. So I got some epoxy primer from Shopline, uh, a PBG uh, distributor here. And if we take a look at the can here, it gives you, you know, all the safety stuff, okay, in multiple languages, but it doesn't give you any mixing instructions. It doesn't give you any charts or anything. And I was like, okay. And for me, I, I wasn't worried about it because I knew they gave me a gallon of sprayable, you know, a gallon of epoxy and they gave me two quarts of my hardener here, JH3770. So I automatically knew subconsciously that it was a two to one mixture. So if you see something like this, you know, it's a two to one mixture. If we look at this base coat here, you'll see that it's, it's, sorry about that. It's one-to-one. -one. It tells you one-to-one -one right over there. Okay. JB9300, which is base, the base coat, and then JR50, uh, JR50. It could be anything. 506. I like to use medium most of the time for my reducer. And this is our reducer here. So we know that, hey, for every one part of this, we got to put one part of our reducer. One-to-one. -one. Okay. Um, and if we go here, all right, they gave me a gallon and then they gave me two quarts. So to use this stuff evenly, it's basically two to one. For every two parts of that, you're going to put one part of this. Okay. So for every, you know, four ounces of that, you're going to put two ounces of your hardener in. For every gallon, you're going to use two quarts of your hardener. Does that make sense? Sometimes some clear coats come in this mixture. Okay, this is epoxy primer, but sometimes some clear coat brands, they'll go, you know, two to one or four to one or sometimes, you know, four one one. Okay, there's different clear coats. Um, we're, we'll get into the clear coat stuff later and other primers, but I just wanted to kind of just point this out for you while I was about to mix some uh, epoxy up. Okay, so this is a two to one mixture. So if you're going to use a half a gallon of this epoxy primer, you're going to use one quart. Then you're going to have a half a gallon left over and then for the other quart. Okay, a two to one mixture to use it evenly. And on top of that, so after you mix it, you can reduce it. And that's uh, another secret of what you could do is reduce it down a little bit, okay? 5% to 10%, depending on the flow and how it's dripping down the paint stick um, to be able to spray out of smaller tip sizes, okay? Now, if you really wanna get the maximum usage of a 2K filler primer, this is not a filler primer, okay? This is an epoxy primer. Um, but if you want to get the maximum benefit of epoxy 
or filler primers, it's best to spray it out of a larger tip size, like a 1.8 to a 2.0, <clears throat> especially if you're doing large pieces, you know, like car panels and whatnot. This way you can lay it on really well. Easy, it's going to cover super easily. But if you're doing small parts like we're doing here, okay, we're going to be doing some rims, uh, a little, you know, motorcycle part there, right? All I'm going to do is reduce it down. I'm going to make this ratio, okay? I'm going to reduce it down a little bit to make it thinner so I can easily spray it out of my 1.4 tip size on this gun here. We just changed it out to a 1.4. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, hope you learned something. We're going to get more in depth. Have, you know, put some comments down below. Let me know what you think. If you understood this video, um, what, you know, your takeaways were with this and we're going to get more into this type of stuff as we progress, but give me a like subscribe, leave your comments down below. It's Tony here from learn auto body and paint.com and paradise garage. Uh, just wanted to kind of make this video. I thought it would kind of, uh, make things a little simpler for you, especially if you buy, sometimes you buy paints and there's no chart on the can, you know? Most times there is a chart, but sometimes there's no chart. Here, no. Here this is a one-to-one, -one. this is a base coat. Uh, that's our primer there. Let's see if it says anything on our primer can. Uh, and sometimes if it's not on the can itself, it tells you right here, four to one, because they gave me a gallon and then a quart of our activator, okay? But we still could add, like I said, we could still add reducer to that mix and we're going to get more into that uh, in the next videos and uh and all that so yeah thanks for watching guys so i hope you enjoyed that video don't forget to comment down below let me know what you thought and stay tuned for new videos coming out because we're going to actually show the complete process of this custom honda grom build and we're going to be spraying multiple candy colors uh, as well as multiple clear coat layers on top of the whole project i think you're really going to enjoy it uh, so stay tuned. Talk to you soon. Have a good day. Aloha. Aloha.